All right, well, Happy New Year, everybody. It's January 1st, 2014, and let's hope we all have a real good year this year. It's the year of the horse. And that's the little Wimps hearse that I showed in my last video that uh, is a homemade uh, kitchen countertop uh, Wimps hearse that I'm using a couple of capacitors, uh, regular uh, disc type capacitors, 2500 uh, volt, 560 pico fed caps in a series arrangement. Um, for my laden jars instead of laden jars and this is the motor that I showed in my last video and this time I changed the rotor so that the uh, segments are gone and there's a piece of aluminum foil tape inside that plastic bottle inside with the lid put on it and it's not on the outside the electrostatics work through the plastic and they work on the plastic and also on the aluminum and I'm going to set the camera right here and watch you uh, spin, watch it spin up. Then I'm going to take this apart so you can see what's inside it. Uh, I'm going to be using the little crank right there to crank this up, and uh, you should be able to see this spin up okay. Here we go. Okay, you should be seeing it spin up right now. I'm just turning the crank with my hand here. And the capacitors, of course, are filling up, and the rotor's going quite fast. Okay, I'm going to stop this, and uh, you should be able to see this uh, spinning around. And that's with me not turning the crank. That's just the energy coming out of the capacitors, and it's winding down now. Okay, let me show you what's on the inside of this and how this is set up. It's four pieces of aluminum foil tape on paper clips, and there's no brushes. Um, on this. Uh, the brushing might be taking place through the arcing. Somebody made a comment about that and I thought that was an interesting comment. So the connection might be right through the air on this particular design. But this is like the Jeff Rominko design in that uh, inside the rotor is the, um, is the aluminum. It's not on the outside of the disc at all. And that's the uh, configuration of the, uh, the rotor assembly. It's got the clear plastic uh, rotor with the aluminum inside it. And then, of course, mine has a cap as the bottom bearing. But uh, this is where I'm at with this um, uh, bladed electrostatic or veined electrostatic motor. I tried this with six blades, and uh, I couldn't get it to run. I think I had too much arcing going on with this crude setup, so I'm going to have to work on that. But Laser Saber made the comment that the more veins and more blades you have, the more torque, but you lose RPM. So I'm going to be working on that. So anyway, Happy New Year, everybody. And that's where I'm at with my electrostatic uh, experiment on the 1st of January, 2014.